Hello everyone, it's Arlena from Yarn and Lena here today, and today we're going to be making a crochet faux denim bucket hat. And the materials you need is includes a four millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, scissors, and a stitch marker if you need it. And the yarn we're going to be using is Lion Brand 24/7 cotton and the color denim. So without further ado, let's get started. So first you're going to make a slip knot like so and you're going to make a circle. There are many ways to make a circle either in the magic circle or the chain loop way. I prefer the chain loop way. So first you're going to chain two to make a circle. One, two. And in that first single crochet you're going to, in that first chain, stitch you're going to six single crochet there you're going to insert your hook to the first stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two you're going to repeat that six times into the same stitch And to tighten the loop after you're done, you can just pull tail like so. So to expand your circle, you're going to start off with row one. You're going to connect, connect the six stitches by single crocheting into that first, your first single crochet like so. And in that first stitch, you're going to single crochet twice. So one, you're going to insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through two. So there's going to be two single crochets in that same loop, in that same single crochet. And you're going to do the same all the way back to that same stitch. Going to single crochet once and twice in every stitch in that loop. And to start on row two, you have increased in every stitch across every single crochet, and you're going to start off with an increase and one single crochet. So after you've hit the first row, you're going to start row two. So you're going to increase, so one single crochet, two single crochet in that same stitch, and one single crochet in the next. So you're going to increase and one single crochet all across the entire row. After you're done with the row of increase and one single crochet, you're now going to start off on the row of increase and two single crochet. So after you're done with the increase and single crochet row, you're going to increase first, so one, and two. So an increase of two single crochet in the same stitch, 
and the next two stitches you're just going to single crochet So an increase and two single crochet all around the row. After you're done with the increase and two single crochet row, you're now going to go on the next row of an increase and three single crochet. So you're going to increase here, which is two single crochet in the same stitch. So one and two, an increase. And you're now going to crochet three each, three single crochets in the next three stitches. One, two and three and you're going to repeat that all the way around after you're done with increase and three single crochet you're going to start off the next row with increase and four single crochet. So increase. And four single crochets in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And again, you're going to repeat the same pattern of increase and four single crochets all across the circle. After you're done with the row of increase and four stitches, you're now going to go on to the row of increase and five stitches. So you're going to increase two crochet, single crochets, in one stitch and five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five and now you're going to repeat it for the rest of the circle After you're done with the row of an increase and five single crochets, you're going to have a row entirely of single crochets only.
after you reach the end of the single crochet row, you're now going to start off increase and six single crochets. With a pattern of increase, increase, single crochet, increase, two single crochet, increase, three, increase, four, increase, five, and then single crochet row. You're going to repeat the pattern of increase, single, six single crochet, increase, seven, increase, eight, increase, nine, increase, ten, and a round of single crochet. So you're going to increase for five rows and add a single crochet row after that. So you're going to repeat this pattern until your desired length of your head. Now that you're done with the top of the hat, it's time to form the bucket shape of the hat itself. For reference, I had I ended off with an increase and 18 single crochets. Now to form the bucket shape of the hat, you're going to single crochet into the back stitch of the loops. So here it is. Normally, normally you would single crochet as is into two loops. But here you're going to single crochet only into the back loop. And you're going to do this all the way around the circle itself. So you're going to single crochet into the back loop. Like so. When you're back at the very beginning where you started back loop single crochet, you're going to make your last stitch and single crochet to connect the two rows. And then you're going to single crochet all around to the bottom to form the bucket shape of the bucket hat. So you're going to single crochet all across repeatedly until your desired length. After you crochet a number of rows that fits the size of your head, you're going to now start working on the curly brim. So first to make the brim itself, you're going to start off with an increase and three single crochets. So an increase of two single crochets in a stitch, so one and and you're going to work a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And you're going to repeat the pattern of an increase and three single crochets all around the edge of the hat. After you're done with an increased row of an increase and three single crochet, you're now going to single crochet a number of rows to build up the brim of the hat. So you're simply going to single crochet all around. After you have six rows of single crochet, after a row of an increase and three single crochets, you're now going to end off your bucket hat with a slip stitch. Now you're going to step on the one and loop it through. And after you weave in the ends, you're done with your bucket hat. And this is how your crochet faux denim bucket hat should turn out like. Its rewritten pattern is linked in the description below on the Yarnalina blog. And remember to subscribe for more crochet content like this. As well as remember to like the video and comment down below on what color you made your bucket hat. And I'll see you next time. Bye!